All roads lead to London as months of intense rehearsal reach a thrilling climax, with the three best senior school choirs in the country battling it out for the title Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year 2010. Hall in London's South Bank Centre for the senior finals of the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year competition. It doesn't get any bigger than this. The audience is full of supporters eager to see one of the three best senior school choirs in the country take this year's title. St Aidan's High School from Harrogate. <laughs> Maria Tadalis, Convent School from London. <laughs> and from Rugby, well it had to be Rugby School of course. They're all hoping to win the coveted title of Songs of Praise Senior School Choir of the Year 2010. Some fantastic music coming right up, including a special guest appearance by none other than Russell Watson. But first, let's see what our three choirs had to go through to earn their place in the final. Our search began several months ago when hundreds of schools sent in their audio recordings. Six of the best were chosen to go through to round two, and all six were given a music workshop from award-winning composer and conductor Douglas Coombs, who helped bring out the best in each choir. This side you follow this hand, and this side you follow this hand. Mm -hmm. What about applause? Yeah! But in the end, there could only be three finalists, and top marks went to St Aidan's, Maria Fidelis and Rugby. Well, they picked the winner and survived to tell the story last week. And they're back for more. Please welcome the owners of three of the best pairs of ears in the business. It's our judges. First up, successful recording artist and vocal coach to the stars, David Grant. <laughs> Next to David, uh, actress and West End star who found her feet in her own school choir, it's Claire Sweeney. <laughs> and chair of the judges, composer, presenter and national ambassador for singing, very important man. It's Howard Goodall. <laughs> Our school choirs will sing twice, finishing with an inspirational song. But before that, each choir has chosen a hymn from our competition list. First up, previous winners of this competition from Harrogate in North Yorkshire. They are St Aidan's High School. Welcome to St Aidan's. They're a Church of England high school in Harrogate with about 1,800 pupils. And it's the chamber choir that all sixth formers want to be a part of. We're going to do that um, harmonic scale in contrary motion. Our conductor, Mark Pallant, is well known for organising big musical events to show off the school's talents. Tonight we're performing here at the centre of Harrogate at the Royal Hall. Elgar once conducted on this stage, but it's probably more famous because the Beatles played here. But tonight we're the main attraction. <laughs> But the big event we're gearing up for is the Songs of Praise competition. We won the competition in 2006. We're in strict accordance with the rules. We haven't entered for three years. It's the kind of competition that we relish, really. As a church school, the combination of music and worship uh, is what we're about, really. Normally, whenever we perform, I'm all right. But then when we get out on the stage, you just then lose your legs. You lose your legs, you turn to je jelly like in a driving test. We've had people in the choir faint before, and hopefully it won't be me this time.
Judges, uh, what a start to the competition. Um, a very successful choir, Howard. What do you make of them? Well, their reputation as a singing school is very well deserved. Anybody hearing that will hear why. And can I just say, it's fantastic to see two dozen teenage boys singing in this choir, um, which is fantastic. And, and <laughs> great diction. Hail, Redeemer, hail. I suppose that's, I would expect a good H from a, a school from Harrogate. Um, <laughs> my only uh, point, I suppose, I would say, is that you just sort of watch the balance between sopranos and altos, because your altos are a big, strong, confident department, uh, and there's just a slight temptation for them to overpower the sopranos who are delivering the tune and the text. Claire Sweeney, music and worship is what they're all about. Did that come across? It did. I was absolutely blown away. The dynamics were there. It was so fluid throughout. Maybe the only thing I can say, it was a joyful lyric. I maybe would have liked to have seen more joyful faces. Everyone seemed to be quite concentrated. And maybe that'll come through in the second performance. But guys, it was brilliant. Happy with those comments? Very happy indeed. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you for now, judges. And thank you, St. Aidan's.